Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the values of these given trigonometric identities. Just keep in your mind that we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. And here is our problem. Cotangent of 25 degrees time cotangent of 35 degrees time cotangent of 55 degrees time cotangent of 65 degrees so let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do we are going to rearrange these identities i am going to put these together and these together as well now let's recall a co-function identities and here you can see that cotangent theta equals to tangent of 90 degrees minus theta as I put it down right up here and now let's focus on this identity cotangent of 65 degrees and here I have copied down cotangent of 65 degrees now let's apply this uh, co-function identity formula cotangent could be written as tangent of 90 degrees minus uh, that angle so therefore I can write this one as uh, tangent of 90 degrees minus whatever this angle 65 degrees so this is same as writing tangent of 90 degrees minus 65 degrees is 25 degrees so cotangent of 65 degrees is same as tangent of 25 degrees so therefore I can replace this quantity by this uh, tangent of 25 degrees. So therefore our this expression is going to become cotangent of 25 degrees time this thing is going to become tangent of 25 degrees time I'm gonna just leave this cotangent of 30 5 degrees and now let's focus on this part cotangent of 55 degrees and here I have copied down cotangent of 55 degrees and we are going to apply this formula once again so this cotangent of 55 degrees could be written as a tangent of 90 degrees minus 55 degrees which is equal to tangent of 35 degrees so therefore I am going to replace this one by tangent of 35 degrees and now let's recall this well-known fact cotangent and tangent are reciprocal to each other so therefore cotangent theta equals to 1 over tangent theta so let's apply that rule on this cotangent of 25 degrees this could be written as 1 over tangent of 25 degrees and I'm going to leave this tangent of 25 degrees like as it is and then let's focus on this uh, cotangent of 35 degrees I'm going to apply this rule once again so this could be written as times 1 over tangent of 35 degrees time this I'm gonna just leave it like this thing tangent of 35 degrees and now we can see that tangent of 25 degree cancels out with this tangent of 25 degrees likewise this tangent of 35 degrees is gone with this 35 degrees so we just ended up with 1 times 1 is going to be simply 1 so thus our answer turns out to be 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye